Hello everyone and welcome to the Compulsive Survival Builder. It's been a while since we've been in Fallout. Did want to make a couple announcements about the channel and about, I don't know, what's been going on. So, if you caught the video that I made, I was very proud of it. It was kind of a um, overview of loading mods and it took me a long time to edit it and I'm, like I said, I'm really proud of that video. But it was a lot of work, so I kind of just took some time off for myself um, to just play games and kind of enjoy myself. But I definitely wanted to come back to Fallout. I've been getting requests to continue the series, which is what I intend to do. Uh, a couple other things of note, I am also working on an update to the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners video that I did. So that one's kind of a big project as well, so... You can expect it in the future if it is something you're interested in, um, but it's going to take a little while for me to finish what I'm working on for that video. Uh, the other thing is, is that I know I mentioned in a previous video that I bought a headset. It is the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 headset. I it, I really just found it on a Facebook ad. It was a hundred bucks. I figured I'd go ahead and get it. Well. I started noticing during some of my recording that I was getting microphone issues. So this morning I sat down and just went into my adjust microphone level setting in the PlayStation and started messing around with the microphone. And what I discovered is is that it's not actually a like a mechanical problem with the microphone. It's a Bluetooth connectivity issue. So I am literally sitting about two feet away from my 65-inch television, just staring up at the screen while sitting on the floor. It's kind of ridiculous looking, and I feel ridiculous because I can. the screen is just way too big to be this close. But it's about being close to the PlayStation, because if I'm not this close, then the microphone will cut in and out. So... If you're thinking about buying one of these Turtle Beach headsets, then I guess I'd probably keep that in mind. I'm I'm hardly a review channel, but my review for this headset would be for recording and chat features. You might want to look for something that's got a bit better of a Bluetooth interface because this one definitely cuts out. It may even cut out during this video with me sitting this close, but I was literally losing whole sentences the last time last time I tried to record. So anyway, just take note of that. What I planned on doing today was basically picking up where we left off. Now, in the last video, we did um, get the money necessary to raise our charisma to 10. Uh, I made the books, I raised my charisma to 10, and I picked the Wasteland Whisperer perk. And then I promised I was going to go find the Sentinel uh, Companions. Now, that is a Creation Club add-on. So if you want to do this, you have to have the Sentinel Companion System Creation Club add-on. And there's a quest that goes along with it, too. It's this uh, Malevolent Malfunction. So if you want to start that quest, that's fine. But the way we're going to do it is going to be a little different because we're not actually going to kill the rogue armor. We're going to turn them into teammates using our companions helper and the teammates function. And we're going to end up with three sentinel companions. And it's going to be awesome. So let's get that done. We're going to start by jumping into our power armor here. Oh, something else I wanted to uh, notify you. Uh, Compulsive Survival Builder now has a Facebook page. So, um, really I created it so that I, I would have an easier means of communicating with all you guys rather than just YouTube comments. So if you're on Facebook, go check out the page. I'm going to put some polls up about maybe some other games that uh, I like to play, that I like to strategize, that I like to... Um, compulsively grind through uh, I got some tips and tricks and glitches anyway like um, I'll put some polls up there and, and that way you guys can kind of pick what kind of content you want to see and if you want to ask questions I'm right there if you want to post stuff on the page I don't care as long as it you know follows the guidelines and all that but 
go check it out. Uh, you don't have to follow the page, but I just wanted to let everybody know that it was there. Uh, and it was a, a good place to kind of communicate with me and that I will be interacting on that page. So, anyway, we're in our power armor. We got our... I don't think we're actually going to be using this. Let's just go ahead and switch to the zombie slayer. But you will see. Now we're going to go to the... This is the Concord manhole. Because it's just closer. All right, we are out of the Concord manhole. Where is everything? Okay, there's the Drumlin Diner. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Let me do a little bit of looting while I'm out here, because otherwise dog meat just goes nuts and keeps finding stuff. Oh, I, I mean Anubis, because we renamed him, remember? Uh, so we got the yeah skeleton here. And, move. Oh, yeah, he found something, did he? Is it that antibiotic? Uh, pick these up now. We're right outside the Drumlin Diner. Come on. Oh, it's so hard to play being this close to the television. <laughs> like, just uh, forgive me for the movement and mechanics. Plus, it's been forever since I've played this game. Like I said, I took a break to kind of, I don't know, mess around in some other games. Try to figure out what other games I might want to do content on. Um, in any case, so the, the, what we're doing here, Drumlin Diner, you go down the road away from Concord, and there's a train wreck down here. So that's where we're headed. Because that's where the Rogue Sentinel armor units are. And this is a little tricky. So basically how it works is once you get the Wasteland Whisperer perk and you turn on the teammates function in your companion's helper, then you have essentially a 50-50 chance to recruit just about anything that's an enemy. I think even just townspeople or whatever. Just about anything as a teammate. But it's only 50-50 shots. So, basically, these guys are pretty tough. Like... So we're gonna come up here, look for the laser blasts. They're taking on zombies, so we're gonna run up on these guys. And they're gonna be hitting us. And you gotta run up, and you gotta hit square, panty helper, and we're gonna see, we got a 50-50 shot here, teammates, and you say add and remove teammate, and you'll basically be able to tell right away if it worked. So you click it, it goes back to the main menu of the companion helper, and you just exit out, and if it worked, yep, he stopped attacking. So then you run up to this guy, lock for teammate. Same deal, Companions Helper, Teammates, and you want to do this kind of quick because once you convert the first guy, he'll start attacking the second guy. So you say add or remove, hopefully that worked. Exit, exit. That one did not work. Oh, jeez. I'm... Starting to die, and I'm still getting shot. Um, and it, and then there's like a cooldown period. Boy, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my gosh, I am so gonna die. Um, stimulant. What do I have that's not re like stim packs? Because they drop my health initially. I'm gonna die. I may have to start back at the beginning here. Ah, okay. Yeah, so Drumlin Diner this way towards the train wreck. And you get a 50 50 shot with the Wasteland Whisperer perk, so it um, doesn't always work. Sometimes you gotta try again. And these guys are pretty tough. They'll kill you pretty quick, so you gotta kinda be quick about it. And remember, it's square. You gotta press square, and then you gotta open your pit boy pretty quick. You can. I don't know if you can hear the gunshots. That's them. 
Alright, once you get over here, it'll probably behoove you to save your game. Uh, yeah, let's do an autosave. You always want to, you really always want to do an autosave first, just in case you're about to experience 0kb. Here's the train wreck. They're, I'm sure, fighting zombies right now. Alright. And then I'm going to run up on them. And they see me. You. They're the closest one. Okay. Now, when that, if you saw that menu kind of went away, I pressed square. And then we go to Companions Helper. And you say Teammates. You say add and remove teammate, and you'll he'll stop attacking you if it works. So select that, and it goes back to the main, and it's 50-50 shot. So here we go. Yep, he's good. All right, so then you go do this guy. Okay, the menu went away. Companions helper. Teammates. Add and remove teammate. 50-50 shot. Let's see. And there's a cooldown period. That's the other thing. If it fails, then you have to wait like 60 seconds, which is really annoying. Yes. Got him. Hostiles neutralized. Recommend immediate repairs to primary systems to ensure Whoa, continued operation. Whoa, there's some big explosions there. But. Oh, and we got a horde of zombies, so. Okay. Meantime, we got a couple... Rogue sets power armor on our side, and I'm gonna use a stim pack while oh. I'm gonna use a stim pack while they can handle the zombies. And yeah, see, I guess they don't always see them as a threat, which is a little annoying. I don't know if that's a glitch. Oh man, I don't know if that's a glitch in like with all the zombies that have added. If your companions don't necessarily see them as a threat because, like I, like, like they weren't originally in the game, I don't know. But enemy left. Perimeter is not secure. There's four more. Okay. So once dog meat or Anubis, I gotta remember to call him Anubis because we we specifically renamed him Anubis. Once he recognizes them as threats, then the rest of them do. And if they get attacked by them, yeah, then they take them out. So, but yeah, right, boom. And right now they got a couple laser rifles, um, which is fine. I'm gonna re-outfit them though. I don't. I'm such a compulsive looter. But I don't really like need junk. <laughs> as, as I as I go ahead and take the time to loot them, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't. Um, I don't know. While I'm doing it. Uh, anyway, yeah. But that's basically how that works. And then you have to finish the quest. Now, that's a little more tricky. You kind of got to already know what you're doing. Excuse me. Um, because part of the quest is to kill these guys. So the markers are not going to move on until they die. But you can pro you can kind of force progress by just going and finding where you need to go, and I know where that is, and I'll show you. Okay, so first things first. They, man, they these you got these brother of steel guys, <laughs> brotherhood of steel guys. They literally pounded him into the concrete. Check that out. This is Vasquez. I'm just gonna take all this stuff. I'm gonna avoid the fire there. Here's the here's the thing. The distress pulser. 
for malevolent malfunction. Now, see, now you found all that stuff. The quest marker goes. Wait, hold on. So if I go to this, then it says kill these guys. Well, I don't freaking want to. Like they're my dudes now. Um, I want to make sure they don't die though. So what do I got here? I've got are these all 300, 300, 298, 300 torsos are pretty bad. Oh, those that's my stuff. 300, 300, 300, 300, 900. Okay, so I can re-outfit them with everything but helmets. So, you can. They, okay, a couple annoying things that I'll go over real quick. When you stand still, these companion guys will just, like, walk circles around you. And that's a little annoying. Because it's hard to, like, get into their menus and stuff if they're walking in circles around you. <laughs> Command. Trade. Okay. <sighs> 299, 298, 300. Yeah, he's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to bother re outfitting him. Then, okay, so we got this other guy. So the way you get to his menu is you say make teammate. You press that and then boom. See? Let's check him out. 300, 300, 298, 300, 294. I mean, he's pretty good too. So, okay. I say they're fine. Where we have to go is like over here, this circle. Right here, you see this circle of roads. So we want to go down here. Roughly. But I want what I want to do. I don't want to go this like straight to him because there's a whole bunch of enemies over here. I want to go south and then west. So let's follow the road for now. Because it's mostly just going to be zombies we account encounter down the road, unless we get into some random encounter. Ooh. Go up here. What do we got? You got a bunch of stuff. You got a bunch of stuff. I'm collecting all the bones for my fire. You know... Since I did the NPCs travel mod and I, that Underground Railroad is just overrun with NPCs now, I'm not sure if I should just, like, make the remote cabin my home base or continue to try and deal with the Underground Railroad. I don't know. But I do have that cool campfire right in the middle of it. Or that bonfire, I guess. With all the bones in it. But I can keep going up. Whoa! They hit the car. This is what happened. Okay, so the quest line, as you can see, the quest line's t saying that I, I need to kill these guys. But if you find where you're supposed to go... Huh. Taking rads. Wait. Oh, that's just the rad meter. Yeah. So I'm taking a few rads. Um. I think if we come down to this place and we kind of clear it out. I mean, we don't have to clear it out, but there's going to be a bunch of zombies coming out of here. I'll kind of let them handle it. Hmm. 
more dudes over there. But. Okay. So they. Oh, one more. One more, guys. Okay, well, you know, they're detecting them pretty good. Better than they were a minute ago. Well, except this guy. You guys gonna do something? Good? Yeah. Here to be good. Alright. I'll uh, loot this stuff and these guys. Chalper Brothers Disposal. Let's, uh, okay, now that I got these guys kind of with me and everything, let's do a, another save. It's good, man. I gotta get more into the habit myself. Um. Hey. Be oh no, I don't want dog or Anubis. Um. Ugh! Get off! Get off me, guys! Get off me! Okay. We can come back and loot that place later. It's on the map now. We're on a mission. So I think if we go basically straight to our marker from here, I don't think we're really going to run into many things besides zombies. So, and we saved at Jalbert, and we have both of our dudes, they're gonna kill a zombie. Come on. We're going this way. We need to continue to head to our map marker there. Now, like I said, there's a pretty tough guy down here, so I'm... I gotta try and remember to save... again... when we, uh get close to him. Yeah, these guys are like totally handy to have. I mean, right now, I'm, I don't normally need them just for the zombies, but I'm just gonna let them handle it just to save ammo and effort, really. Um, I really only grab them up and bring them anywhere. If I'm gonna, if I know it's gonna be like a kind of a shit show, like, uh, like I'll probably take them back into Lexington once I outfit them and everything. Jeez. And we'll just go. I'll give him like a, a missile launcher and uh, a minigun. I don't even re really know what else. Uh, I'll figure something out for the third one, but like big time weapons, you know, just to where it's not just some stupid little rifle and I'll upgrade them and. Still. Okay, come on. We got somewhere to be. Uh, this is another issue. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's. Oh, okay, there's a new guy. So he's still up. No. Oh, 
see any more zombies. Okay, so da 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 da. Just kind of keep heading to our destination down here. Arc jet. Yeah. Right, okay. Do 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 do. Total chaos. This is awesome. Oh. Man. I picked uh, zombie apocalypse, didn't I? Okay, I'm not gonna take the time to loot all of these damn zombies. Because we are, I believe, yeah, just over there. So, I do want their help. Where's... Oh, okay, they're both here. <sighs> and then I'll try to set their voices up. Because you can you can get into their systems, and I think you can change their voice. Um, but yeah, they just talk incessantly. I think you can either set them up to, like, not talk, or... Um, or have a little more friendly voices you know what I mean so we're looking for the propane station which is right there okay so there's a guy in there and honestly I really don't know how perceptive he is but I know he's tough and he'll kill these dudes so okay yeah I mentioned this so let's save all right got a good save going and I'm gonna sneak over here and I'm gonna try and get some 50 cal shots on this dude because I don't want to lose any of my sentinels And they will still run in there to try and take him out. Got him. He just happened to hop out of his power armor. That is great. Because now, okay, if I save again. Alright. Now I've also got another set of power armors sitting right here that is oh man how lucky was that didn't mean to use a steam pack but I probably needed one I wasn't really paying attention anyway yeah so that was the dude that is the actual companion you're supposed to get man seriously and it's stealing well whatever I believe there's... Yeah. Yeah, there's just some freaking raiders. <laughs> okay, guys. Guys! Guys! Uh. Man, those dogs are something else. All right. Whew. So let's pick up his stuff here. Right leg, left arm. Uh, combination right sure. All right, this is the dude. This is... So we go hack. 
Oh, find the passcode. So we have to read through Dawson's hollow tape. Yeah, so you just open it. There it is. Capital tripwire echo. All right. And activate the sentinel power armor. Activate. With security operations. See my teammate. Hack. Now he works a little differently because he's an actual companion. See, there we go. We finished malevolent malfunction. So he'll work like a normal companion. So we're going to give him his stuff. Uh, was it golden? No, I don't think it was golden. Oh, golden, yeah, he's got golden. But he had the left arm and the right leg, and we're going to equip them. Give him a weapon. Um, how about a laser musket? Or a marksman's fiery automatic targeting... What is that? Improved automatic something. You're not taking my Dillinger. How about a yeah, fiery automatic laser rifle? There you go. And we'll go here and we'll give him. No. I need ammo. A fusion cell. I think he only needs one. And. He should be good to go. Completed malevolent malfunction. We, I believe, yep, we now have three sets of Sentinel power armor. Ha ha ha! Dun da da! Okay, now that, okay, and they're gonna walk circles around me. One more time. Just so I don't lose my progress here. This works. I'm always watching for zero KB. It looked like it worked, so I'm going to do a hard save. Oh. Except it's going to take a second. Do a hard save. <laughs> Alright. And we... Got it, boys and girls. Okay, well, that's how you do that. It and it, it can take some trial and error. Uh, if the microphone was still cutting out, I apologize. I'm gonna see if I can find a solution to that. Um, and then make sure to check out the Facebook page, like I mentioned. And um, if you want to mod your game, I've got that modding overview. Uh, it's actually apparently kind of been endorsed by Odd Little Turtle, which is uh, really cool. Um, he commented on it. He had provided a new link to his guide and um, mentioned something about uh, maybe linking it as his useful link section. I don't know. We'll see if that actually happens, and I'm not really expecting anything, but I, you know, I'm quite honored. Uh, it's really cool to use something like a textbook and then basically get contacted by the author. Um, in any case, if you like the video, click like. Uh, if you want to, you know, continue to see my videos, then a really easy way to do that is to hit subscribe, and then you get a handy list of all the channels that you like to watch. If you want to be notified, which I don't know, I don't think I'm that interesting, but you can hit the bell icon. Uh, otherwise, stay safe out there, Wastelanders.